This happened a few months ago, me and my friend, who I'll call Ryan, were very bored because it was the weekend and we didn't have school. We're both guys and everything that we could think of, we got bored with. I then mentioned to Ryan that we should go play games at the local arcade and just hang out. But then he mentioned that the closest arcade we go to was shut down due to some kind of issue, so we couldn't go to that arcade. Then I told my friend Ryan, why don't we just go find a new one to hang out in? Ryan looked at me like I had lost my mind. But after a few minutes of me begging him to go, he agreed to go. So we both hopped into Ryan's car. He was 17 at the time and could already drive. We drove around for a few minutes until I pointed out an arcade. That looked brand new. Ryan drove into the parking lot. And when we stopped, I got out of the car. I looked around the parking lot and noticed there were a good number of cars here. Seems popular. Ryan said as he walked up next to me. Then we both headed inside and when we got in, I almost slapped my hands over my ears. The music in this place was so loud that I could feel it shaking my feet. But I wasn't going to complain. So we both headed up to the front desk and bought the things we needed to play their games. After a minute, we found a table where we could rest in case we got tired of walking around. We even ordered some soda and snacks. I don't remember everything Ryan said because the place was loud, but he said he was going to look for something to play, and then he left to go play the new games. I then decided to go off in my own direction, and I found a few games to play. Most of the ones I played were those shooting games and the ones where you race cars. But then I found a basketball shooting game and I decided to try that one out. So I did what I needed to do and started playing it, throwing basketballs. After the game ended, I felt a tap on my shoulder. I expected it to be Ryan. But when I turned, it wasn't Ryan. It was this random guy who looked nine years older than me. Something about him seemed off. He was wearing a black beanie. So I couldn't see his hair, but I noticed his eyes were blue. I then noticed he was wearing a black shirt with blue jeans and he had tennis shoes on. He told me you played that very well. He pointed at the basketball game and I told him thank you with a nervous look on my face. For some reason, this guy was making my danger radar go off in my head. I looked him over once again. He didn't look like a drunk and he didn't smell like drugs, but sometimes it doesn't matter. I then noticed his hand was on my shoulder and I heard him say whoops before taking it off. Before he could say anything else, I walked away. I looked over my shoulder and noticed that the guy was just standing there looking at me. I headed back to the table me and Ryan picked out, but I noticed Ryan was still gone. An hour later, I noticed Ryan walking over to the table. I almost noticed his behavior looked different too. He kept looking over his shoulder while he was walking and he was rubbing his arm, which he does when he's only nervous about something. When he sat down on the other side of the table, I noticed he looked pale and his eyes looked full of fear. I asked him what happened and at first he didn't tell me anything. 
But then, when I asked again, he decided to tell me. He told me that, while he was playing a claw machine game, that a guy wearing a black beanie walked over to him. At first the two just started talking about something to each other. But then it got more creepy, he said. He told me that the guy touched his hand in a sort of sexual way. By rubbing it and when Ryan asked him to stop he just winked. Then Ryan noticed that the guy was trying to reach into his pocket. And then after that Ryan said he had to go and he ran off. I gasped asking Ryan a few things and then I told him. The same man had came up to me and started talking weirdly to me also. After that we decided to leave, and without looking back we headed back outside, and to the car. Before we could drive off my phone beeped, and I looked at Ryan confused before pulling it out. I noticed it was a Facebook message. When I looked at the message, I nearly dropped the phone on the ground of the car and Ryan asked me what happened. I told him the message said, Hey you two, why didn't you say goodbye before you left? Ryan's mouth fell open asking me who that was to which I said. I didn't know. Then I texted the person who they were and what they wanted. But instead of answering my message, they just left it on scene. Soon a picture showed up, and it was a picture of the front of Ryan's car showing the shadows of me and Ryan in the car. I then texted them if they did anything stupid, that I was going to call the police if they tried to hurt us. And then Ryan drove away, and we headed back to his house. And after we got there Ryan said for me to call the police. But for some reason, we don't call the police, and just excited to forget about that experience. But my story doesn't quite end you see a few days after. That I was in the store buying something for my birthday. And then I noticed a guy wearing a black beanie, and when he saw me looking at him, he winked at me and smiled, and then I ran out of the store without buying the thing I wanted to get. The good thing is that after that, I move locations to live with a friend instead of living in my apartment alone.